Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles tangent to each other. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the points uh, D, E and uh, F are their points of tangency. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, region. And moreover, uh, the points uh, A, B and C are the centers uh, for these uh, circles. And the area has been given to us as uh, pi centimeter uh, square for each of these identical circles. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the area for each of these circle is pi centimeter square. And now let's assume the radius for these circles is going to be lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of the radius r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the area of uh, the circle is pi centimeter square. So therefore, I could write uh, the area of the circle is pi is going to be equal to pi times lowercase uh, r square. And now I'm going to divide both sides by pi to isolate r square. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi and pi is gone as well. So therefore, lowercase r square value turns out to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore, our radius lowercase r value simply turns out to be positive 1 centimeter. So thus the radius uh, for these uh, circles turns out to be 1 centimeter. And now I am going to connect uh, all these uh, centers uh, A, B and C. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected all these uh, centers. And now let's recall this crucial fact. The centers and the points of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder these two centers A, B and this uh, point of tangency E lie on the very same line. Likewise, the centers B, C and this point of tangency F lie on the very same line as well. And finally, so are uh, these uh, centers uh, A, C and this uh, point of tangency D. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, is the radius uh, of this circle. Likewise, this radius as uh, well. So the radius is 1. So this is 1. This is 1. So this radius is uh, 1 as well. This radius is 1. This uh, radius is 1. And finally, this radius is 1. So therefore, we conclude uh, that this uh, segment uh, AB length is going to be 1 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 2. Likewise, uh, this BC length is going to be 2. And finally, this one is going to be AC segment length is going to be 2 as well across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this is an equilateral uh, triangle. Since uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this triangle ABC are uh, 2 centimeter each. And since uh, this is an equilateral triangle, so therefore uh, all these uh, interior angles for this triangle are going to be congruent. We know the sum of uh, interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So this angle has got to be 60 degrees. This angle is... Uh, 60 degrees and finally this angle is 60 degrees as well and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, a times b times sine of the angle C as you can see in this given triangle here we got uh, these two side lengths uh, a and uh, b 
and C is the angle in between. And here for this uh, triangle ABC, our two side lengths uh, are uh, 2 cm. Likewise, this side is uh, 2 cm as well. And the angle in between is uh, 60 degrees. So, therefore, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times our one side length is uh, 2, the other side length is uh, 2 as well, times the uh, sine of uh, our angle uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that our uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees is going to be equal to square root of 3 divided by 2. So, therefore, I'm going to replace that sine of 60 degrees with the square root of 3 divided by 2. So, therefore, we could see this 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So, we are ended up with the 2 and then this uh, sine of 60 degrees is square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So, therefore, uh, the area for this triangle uh, ABC is going to be simply the square root of 3 centimeter square. And here's our next step. Now let's focus on these uh, three sectors. This uh, is our sector 1. This is our sector 2. And this is our sector 3. And we can see all these uh, sectors uh, are uh, congruent. In other words, the area for each of these uh, sectors is going to be congruent. And now let's focus on this sector uh, ADE. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, sector. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area is always equal to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And in our case, uh, our angle theta is uh, 60 degrees. And the radius uh, lowercase r is 1. So, therefore, uh, this sector area is going to be equal to our angle theta is uh, 60 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi times uh, our radius uh, is 1 uh, whole square. And now let's make an observation. We can see 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees reduces to simply 1 divided by 6. And this uh, 1 square is going to be simply 1. So therefore, uh, this is going to be equal to 1 divided by 6 uh, times uh, pi times uh, 1. And that's going to be simply pi divided by 6 uh, centimeter square, the area of this uh, sector. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded region. And now let's recall this uh, equation and let's make an observation as well. We could see that this uh, purple shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, equilateral triangle ABC minus uh, 3 times the area of the sector since we are dealing with the three identical sectors. And here we already figured out uh, the area of this triangle ABC as uh, square root of 3 and the sector area is uh, pi divided by 6. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So our triangle ABC area is uh, simply the square root of 3 minus uh, 3 times uh, the sector area is uh, pi divided by 6. And now if we multiply this one, that is going to simply give us uh, pi divided by 2. So, therefore, uh, the area of this uh, purple shaded region uh, turns out to be square root of 3 minus uh, pi divided by 2 centimeter square. So, thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, purple shaded region turns out to be square root of 3 minus uh, pi divided by 2 centimeter square. And that's going to be approximately equal to 0 0.1613 centimeter square as well. In other words, uh, the area of this uh, purple shaded region is going to be the square root of 3 minus pi divided by 2 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.